Many people found that Jack's last photo was very similar to the devil before it. In fact, things are not that simple. During my research, I found an interesting detail. In Baphomet's wiki page, a statue of Washington caught my eye, and for some reason the pose of this statue is very similar to that of Baphomet in the picture. After my research, I found that this statue was created in 1832, I quote. George Washington, also known as Enthroned Washington, is a large marble sculpture by Horatio Green of commissioned by the United States Congress on July 14, 1832, for the centennial of U.S. President George Washington's birth on February 22, 1732. Completed in 1840, the portrait of Baphomet was painted by the French occultist Levi in 1856. In other words, the statue was created 16 years earlier than the portrait. In fact, Jack is not so much posing as Baphomet, but Washington. Is Kubrick using Jack to allude to Washington, alluding to the original sin that white people have accumulated over the years on this American soil? White man's burden, Lloyd, my man. White man's burden. Another point to corroborate my guess is the time on the photo. July 4th, 1921. In 1921, the year the movie The Phantom Carriage was released, the clip of Jack chopping the door was a tribute to The Phantom Carriage. Then the date July 4th, on July 4th, 1776, the United States was founded, the Declaration of Independence was signed by John Hancock. The Declaration of Independence clearly states that We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. It now appears that the men in the Declaration of Independence are not the men we understand. Did you know, Mr. Torrance, that your son is attempting to bring an outside party into this situation? Who? A nigger cook. That's all. Thank you for watching.